The story of when my stalker became my roommate. It was my senior year of high school, and I was talking to a lovely lady named Jessica. I had a hard time accepting myself. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Me and Jessica like this one open coming singer. It feels like we're in his secret group. We were really bonding over his music. I was in love with her, and I didn't know if she loved me back, and it was driving me crazy. So one night, I'm at my friend Mason's house. I'm talking to Jessica in tail. Who are you texting? It's my time to flex. I get up and show him. It's a fake, it's probably a 50-year-old man from Alabama. It was basically me and Jessica against the whole world. You call her? Yeah, sure. She picks up. Hello. She was getting real clingy, but when I don't talk to her, she starts talking to me more. It sounds like a burden to talk to her, so I blocked her on everything. Not my proudest moment, but I, I had to do what I had to do. I finally get to my condo, but unfortunately, but my roommate Simon. I bet he eats Reese's Pieces all day. He gave me a list of rules. 1. No girls ever. 2. No friends over 5 p.m. 3. Never touch his Star Wars Lego sets. 4. Absolutely under no circumstances. Ever interrupt me during my Sunday A Game of Thrones ritual? He was basically a character from South Park. Me and Jessica start fading away. I was in class. I was just working until... Yeah, sorry to ask, but I noticed that your notes were really great. I was wondering if I could buy a copy off you? I'm Freddy, by the way. Yeah, sure I got you, Freddy. It was pouring rain. It's one of those luxury condos. A beautiful lobby. I knock on the door. Come in. Wow. Find the place okay? Yeah, definitely. You're living like a king, eh? Uh, yeah, I guess this place isn't so bad. If you don't mind me asking, how do you afford this place? My parents did pretty well for themselves. I'm lucky. Okay, cool. Let me just give you my notes. I handed my notes over. Oh, thanks, man. This is gonna save my life. Come, I'll get you the cash. I walk into the second bedroom. Have roommates? Nope, just me. He hands over the cash. Actually, I'm sort of looking for one. Know anyone? I can't afford this place. That's okay. I, I mean, you seem like a cool guy, and my parents own the place. Really? Yeah, totally. It gets kind of boring by myself anyways. Yes, totally yes. Soon I moved within a week, and he even got us matching pajamas. Which was a bit weird, yes, but I didn't care I got a free place. Even if he wanted me to tell him a bedtime story, I would. I was in the campus lounge area. I was with my friend Emma, she was my friend from chemistry. She was talking about her boyfriend that was way too controlling. So she broke up with him. Then I told her about my experience with Simon. She asks how my new roommate is. Oh, he's absolutely Emma. Is she? Freddy. I take you in, pay for all your sh and you flop on me to hang out with this skank. What? I see how it is. Have fun, losers. Freddy walks away. Then he turns around and whips his phone at me. The phone smashes on the floor. I pick up the smashed phone. I quickly say sorry and go. I contact campus helpline 
and I explained my situation. Foot patrol get there, but get this one of the guys is Simon. All of my clothes tossed out the window. My clothes on the campus floor. I storm in. Simon and the other guy chase after me. I get there. I pause. What if Freddy has a gun chainsaw and knife? What do we say to the god of death? This guy seriously did not just reference Game of Thrones, no. I ain't this. I gasp. All of my clothes are ripped, my electronics are destroyed. I go to Freddy's room, it's locked. I start banging on the door. We can't do that. You're breaking foot patrol protocol. Fuck protocol. I finally get in. Freddy was on his bed. It looked like he was waiting for me. But then I can see my initials on his arms. Freddy was rushed to the hospital. The police officer asked me a bunch of questions and I answered. He was nice enough to give me a ride. The police officers were talking to each other. While I was waiting in the car, I felt something in my back pocket. I have a feeling I know the passcode. I try it, and it worked.